you've been lied to. You see, the reason you're not making art sales have absolutely nothing to do with your artwork, pricing, or posting on social media regularly. You see, there's a secret galleries understand that just not available or talked about to artists. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna reveal that secret to you and also reveal the biggest opportunity currently for visual artists to start making consistent sales regularly. And I'm not just talking about any sales. I'm talking about selling artworks for a thousand dollars each and that's even if you never sold the art in your life and if you even hate sales my name is Gerald Henry and I want to ask you a question have you felt like you gave your art career just about everything and it just seems like nothing is working I mean you're probably working like a nine to five job and now you're in a position where you're like oh my god I just want to leave this job and if I was able to make sales I would be the happiest person ever but you just can't seem to crack the code when it comes to your art career well, you see, the reason you're not able to carry the code is because the code have always been kept hidden from visual artists. And I'm explaining these things in detail. But first, before I jump into the good stuff of this video, I want to say three very important things you need to do now. One, grab pen and paper. I promise you this will probably be the most valuable YouTube video I uploaded up to this point. Second, actually take notes on this video. Take notes. That means don't skip around. Actually go through this video. Take notes. If you know anything about me and you watch any of my videos, you know if I say it's going to be value, it's actually value. And then three, implementation is key. 99% of the people are going to watch this video and just move on with the rest of their day. Don't be one of those 99%. 1% is going to actually apply the things I'm about to share with you, and it could be game changing for your all career. Start today working towards becoming one of those 1%. With that being said, here's the thing. You see, galleries for some reason seem to always do well, right? When you walk into a gallery, you notice it's always really beautiful. If it's a high-end gallery, beautiful artists on the walls, it's usually the high-end stuff. They drink in high-end champagne and it's just fabulous, right? It's because they're making so much money that they're able to afford these nicer things. However, if you ever notice, galleries tell artists that you should not worry about how much money you make. You should strictly focus on creating artwork, being in a studio, and doing what you're passionate about. But the question is why? And this is what I want you to think about. You see, this is why galleries are charging 50% commissions for a sale. And then they also make an artist pay for the shipping of the artwork and any other necessary supplies or tools that may be needed. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I'm not here to talk about galleries charging ridiculous prices. More importantly, I want to talk to you about the biggest opportunity that you have as an artist. But before I talk about this opportunity, you must understand some key things. You must understand how a gallery actually operate in the current times that the galleries are in. So in the past, the way galleries operate is they get a huge flux of buyers. And these buyers become interested in your artwork. So you try and get into the gallery. Gallery, and then once you get into the gallery, they present your artwork to their buyers. Once the gallery present your artwork to their buyers, their buyers get to basically make their picks and chooses and purchase whatever artwork they love. However, things have completely changed in the art space. If you notice, galleries are actually selling less and less and less artwork as time go on. And this has happened because of the ability to get your art in front of anyone's eyes. You see, in today's time, as artists, we have the ability to get our artwork in front of literally anyone. I mean, absolutely anyone. But the complicated part is how to actually get in front of people to get them to purchase your work. And those are the things I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to talk about the biggest opportunity that allows you to get your artwork in front of just about anyone. And then more importantly, not just get your artwork in front of them, but also get them to actually buy your artwork. So... With that being said, before I jump into the details, I do just want to make sure you're in the right place. This video is for visual artists only. If you're not a visual artist, this will most likely not apply to you. Also, this is not for any visual artist, but this is for visual artists who take their art career very, very seriously. You must be very serious about your art career. You must want to create artwork full time because this process is very, very simple. It's actually pretty easy to apply, but it do requires dedication. It requires consistency. And most importantly, it requires passion. You must be one of the passionate few. With that being said, let's get into the good stuff. 
Now, you may be wondering how the heck do I know this information? Well, in 2015, I was attending the Kansas City Art Institute. By the way, freaking phenomenal institute, but I ended up learning a lot about the art industry that no one was actually talking about. So I ended up meeting a really close friend guy named Ben. And Ben was always showing in galleries. He already graduated from the school. He was just living the best artist life that every artist typically want to live. And then me and Ben had a conversation. Ben said, draw it. I want you to understand something. I said, yes. What you got? He says, dude, it's not what it looked like. I don't make much money. The guys are getting over. It's pretty conniving. And honestly, I just want out. And I didn't understand why he was telling me this. So from that day, I started doing my own research. And sure enough, he was actually telling the truth. Galleries were taking 50%. They was doing shady business, which I'm not going to get into the shady business because that's not the point of this video. But it just left a really bad taste in my mouth. So because of that, I spent the next four years trying to figure out what actually separated the most successful artists from everyday artists who are really struggling to sell. And I noticed after those four years of everyday dedicated work to figure out what actually make artists succeed, the really successful artists understood something that was really, really powerful. It was the same exact tactics that galleries apply to grow really successful galleries, which lead to a lot of sales selling their artists work. And if you could understand how to crack that code is game on. And literally, that's what I'm going to be showing you. So at this point, I want you to grab pen and paper because it's time to basically get to writing. So when it comes to being successful as a visual artist, that's only three things you need to focus on. Nothing more, nothing less. If you could focus on these three things, I promise you your entire art career would change from this day forward. Don't focus on anything else. I don't want you to focus on your pricing hashtags, getting into galleries, websites, or any of that fancy shenanigans people tell you online, such as running ads, building funnels, and building email lists. You won't need to worry about any of these things. Matter of fact, just to give you a little boost, here are a couple artists I currently work with that apply these same exact three things at the moment and are seeing crazy results, as you can see here. And these artists are no different from you. The only difference is they found that secret that galleries are using to really crush sales and they started applying it to their own art career. With that being said, I don't want to waste any more time and let's get to the good stuff. So first thing first, here are the three things. Identify, locate, sell. That's it. Nothing more, nothing else. You need to be able to identify, locate, sell. And I'm explaining this in detail. You see. The reason galleries were able to succeed so well is because first thing first, they got really good at identifying. So with that being said, what do I mean when I say identify? You see, when it comes to selling your artwork, there's a very specific type of person that buys art. And it's your job to figure out exactly who that person is. But I'm going to take it a step farther. That's not only a particular type of person that buys art, but that's also a more specific type of person that will be willing to buy your art. To identify who would that person be, you must first understand, one, your values as an artist. And then two, what do your artwork represent? When you understand these two things, the third thing you want to do is think about who would those values most likely stand alone. Once you have those two things, you then want to ask yourself who will most likely relate to those values and then who will most likely resonate with your artwork. These are very key questions. This is going to help you identify who would this ideal buyer be. And I'm going to give you a bonus as well. Now, once you identify that buyer, here's an important thing. You must set your values, your own personal values higher. You see, if you want to sell artworks for a thousand bucks, you have to see a thousand bucks as one obtainable and then two easy to sell artwork at that price. You see, we've been told that you should not worry about how much money you make. But when you don't worry about how much money you make, then you start to set little goals. And when you set little goals, you start to feel like that's the only thing that's obtainable. If you want to sell artworks for a thousand bucks, you have to see yourself. You have to really envision yourself as an artist who are creating and selling artworks that are worth a thousand bucks or more. With that being said, you need to identify your own goals and values. As an artist, you should be setting goals at minimum at 5,000 per month. 
you should want to make five thousand per month at minimum now once you align yourself with these goals the people you want to attract will also align with this this means you'll be attracting buyers who are willing to spend more on your artwork which is absolutely crucial now with that being said once you identify exactly who's your ideal buyer right identify right the second thing is locate you need to locate those buyers and this is the biggest reason galleries are currently going under business the main reason galleries are starting to fail and close is because they losing the exclusivity what i mean by this is that everyone have access to the same potential buyers that galleries have in their catalog in today's time you have the same access literally as that gallery that's selling artworks for 10 and twenty thousand dollars per piece i have an artist last month who sold the artwork for twenty thousand dollars then sold another artwork for ten thousand dollars to the same buyer why because he understood that he had the access to get in the same location as those potential buyers as galleries do and you want to use this to your advantage how do you use this to your advantage well it's time to take more notes Here's what you want to do once you identify exactly who that ideal buyer would be which we already talked about you want to ask yourself specifically where would that buyer most likely hang out online very specific very direct where would that specific buyer most likely hang out online are they on instagram are they on facebook where are they hanging out online and now it's your job to only post your art only post your art where that potential buyer is hanging out. So yes, you have to do some research. And then once you figure out where they're hanging out, you just wanna showcase your artwork in the same place. You see, here's the thing. I have an artist right now that have a waiting list of 800 buyers named Danielle Brown. The reason Danielle Brown was able to get a waiting list of 800 buyers is because she understood that her buyers were on Instagram. Not only were they on Instagram, but she understood exactly how to get an auric in front of them. And once she was able to get her auric in front of her ideal buyers, she started going viral and having videos getting upwards of 20 million views or more, which is absolutely ridiculous. And you have that same opportunity once you can identify exactly where your buyers are located on line now the third thing and here's the scary part for all visual artists and we're going to break this disbelief and this fear right here right now it's the ability to sell if you notice this is how galleries operate they'll typically have an opening people will come to that opening when people come to that opening or that show the gallery sales people will approach people and have a short conversation with them that's the key conversation lead to sales you don't have to be salesy you don't have to know exactly what to say you just want to have a good conversation and here's the magic thing at the end of that conversation just ask them would they be willing to purchase your artwork if you ask enough people if they would be willing to purchase your artwork you're going to get more yes than you're going to get no now in short if you apply these three things which is one understanding exactly who would your ideal buyer be two understanding exactly where they're located online and three understanding exactly what to say in conversation to get them to purchase you will be selling but i want to take this a step farther i want you to really 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 think about what i'm about to say next you could apply all those things correctly and still not succeed because that's not the number one thing stopping artists from succeeding the number one reason 90% of artists struggle to make any sales is because of their mind. Now, you may be thinking, I heard this before. My mind, come on, draw it. And let me tell you, I want to break this down. You see, as kids, we've always been told that if you wanted to be an artist, have a backup plan. We've been told that being an artist is not a real career. We've been told that you should not be an artist because you can't make no money. And when you think about this and you've been told these things over and over and over again, it starts to become reality to you. You start to think, hmm, maybe I can't make money. Maybe a thousand bucks is enough. Maybe two thousand is enough. If I could just get to three thousand a month, I'll be so happy. And what happens is we set these limitations on ourselves only because we have limited beliefs so this is what i want you to do i want you to change your belief pattern starting here 
change your belief patterns. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot achieve things I just talked about if you don't understand how to think as a successful person that attract wealth, that attract amazing things, that attract success. The reason I'm saving this to the end is because I do think this is the most important part to succeed. So here are the next couple tips. One, you want to find a mentor. I just gave you the blueprint. You can apply this process yourself to see results. But if you really, 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 really want to succeed, you need to find a mentor. That's one. Two, that mentor should be someone that understands exactly where you're at and where you want to go. Where you're at and where you want to go. Most likely, this mentor should have helped someone else or even themselves have already went down that same journey. Three, you want to follow every single thing that mentor says. Like right now, I have some artists who email me about their results and their sales because they watch my free content on this YouTube channel and they make sales, right? You want to put yourself in the same position. Now, here's the thing. At this point of the video, you have two options. I gave you the game plan. You could go out and you could start applying this to get results. And you should if that's what you want to do. That's option number one. Option number two. If you want me, and I'm offering this here only to my subscribers and those watching this video. If you want me, Draw Henry, to pinpoint exactly who will your ideal buyers be. Tell you exactly where they're located online. I mean exactly where they're located online and exactly word for word what to say to get them to purchase. Then I want to offer you the opportunity to work with me directly. This is a limited opportunity. This is only for those who are here watching this video. Now, what does this opportunity look like? First, we're going to schedule a one-to-one -one call, whether that's with me or my client success mentors. This call is completely free. It don't cost you anything. The goal of this call is to one, understand exactly, I mean exactly where you're at in your all career currently. And then two, let you know your biggest problems and the biggest solutions you need to put in place immediately to get to where you want to go. That's it. And then if we feel like we can help you, I'm going to, as I mentioned, give you that exact step-by-step -step blueprint to make sure you succeed. Now, I'm very big on my word. So here's the thing. Even if we do work together, let's say you don't get the results that you want to achieve, then I will give you every single dollar back. That's if we end up working together. So it's absolutely no risk on your end. If you watch this video and you're an artist and you want to take your all career to the next level and you want to learn what actually works in detail, I gave you the blueprint here. But if you want to learn how to actually apply it step by step and get it right the first time, then I'm going to put a link below for you to schedule a call directly with my team. On this call, it's going to be roughly about 30 minutes, and I can promise you it will be the absolute best 30 minutes of your year. Now, if it's not, I'm even to take it this far. If it's not, send me a message directly. If you don't have the best call, send me a message directly on Instagram at Droy Henry, and I will respond personally and answer any additional questions you may have myself. Just send me Droy. Here's my questions. And you send me your questions, I'm gonna answer those questions directly. That's if you schedule a call and that call is not absolutely amazing to you. With that being said, the reason I created this video is because I know there's a lot of artists who are currently working a nine to five job, who are currently doing stuff they don't enjoy, or extremely, extremely talented and just not earning what they deserve as an artist. So I feel like it's my job and my duty to share my tips and tricks that I've used to help artists crush it. Now, if you want to take that to the next level, once again, I'm going to put a link below where you can schedule a call directly with me and we can get on the right track together. I'm super excited to chat it with you. See you on a call.